Hello Piggy People, Skinny Pigs one here. So today's video is potentially a controversial topic. Today I would like to share with you why I am pro spay and neutering for your guinea pigs. So I want to make it clear that I'm not telling you to go out and spay and neuter your guinea pigs. I am simply sharing my opinion why I respect the decision to do so. I also respect when people choose not to. We can still all be friends and support one another, even if we differ on this topic. So please share your thoughts in the comments and keep an open mind to differing opinions and please always be respectful. So number one, the first reason I support guinea pigs being spayed or neutered is because no accidental litters can happen this way. A huge reason for baby guinea pigs being born is because of missexed guinea pigs. From people not being educated on how to properly keep male and female guinea pigs together. And from males being escape artists and getting to female guinea pigs. When you at least neuter your males, then you have no worries about keeping them in the same room as females, right next to females, or males in with females. I personally love knowing that both Angus and Huckle, my two males, are neutered so that I have no worries. Number two, I support neutering males because it can help with stopping impaction. Impaction is something senior males can often be plagued with. Basically, in their senior age, hind end muscles are weakened, making it harder for them to push poops out of their anal sac. Poops that get caught in their anal sac can start to pile up and turn into one big clump. Impaction can go from mild all the way to severe. So the serious cases of impaction do require us owners to manually remove the stuck poops multiple times a day. This is a process that males absolutely hate and you as an owner might as well, but it has to be done. Neutered males are much less likely to suffer from this issue as their anal sacs are naturally shrunk after they have been neutered because the fat pads and their testicles have been removed so everything shrinks and tightens up. Number three, another reason I support males being neutered is because this makes pairing them up so much easier. We all know making a pair of males work can be very difficult as they are naturally more territorial and potentially aggressive. So having more options for bonding is excellent. Matching a neutered male with a female is much more likely to work out. And matching a neutered male with a baby female is basically guaranteed to be the easiest bond you will ever do. Do you guys all remember when Autumn and Angus first met? They were immediate friends, even though Angus was a very high-strung, kind of aggressive to his other male partner. But it was immediate love with a little baby female after he was neutered. Another option is a neutered male living with a herd of females. They absolutely thrive with this. This is the most natural to how they would live in nature. Case in point, Huckle, who is neutered, lives with five females and it goes so beautifully. They all have such an enriched life. So this can be a great way to keep males and have females and have everything be safe and harmonious. Number four, I support spaying female guinea pigs because the chance of ovarian cysts or uterine cancers are real. Often reproductive issues can plague our senior females, which makes deciding how to help them a very difficult decision. You can use hormones, either injections or implants, but that is very case-by-case -case basis for how well it works or for how long it works. And they are really known for being quite painful for your guinea pigs, a lot of vet visits, so quite stressful, and in the end, they might not even work. Or you could choose to spay, which spaying a senior and a senior who might not be feeling their best does make the surgery riskier. So I am in full support of people choosing to preventatively spay their younger, healthier females. Spaying females at the age of one is the most ideal. They are fully developed, fully grown and healthy, and it will lessen the risk of surgery. 
I know people in the guinea pig community who have chosen to preemptively spay all of their female guinea pigs so that any reproductive issues are taken off the table. They do not have to worry about that now or when they are older. There's also SPCAs here that do that as well, animal control services, and we had an awesome rescue who did it as well. All guinea pigs were spayed and neutered automatically. So really, any guinea pig after about the age of two can possibly develop cysts, and cysts can grow, they can rupture, which would be life-threatening, they can grow large enough to cause them pain and discomfort, to even be pushing on their GI tract, um, it can also turn into cancers in their uterus. There's tons of issues that can happen from an unspayed guinea pig. Thank you everybody for listening and for being polite and respectful in the comments. I know this is a touchy subject and this gets people's feelings and emotions really going because we all love our guinea pigs. We all want to take care of them to the best of our ability and we never want to put them in danger. So doing surgery is nothing to be taken lightly. There are risks. You need to weigh the pros and cons. You need to speak with your vet and feel prepared. So there are always going to be risks when it comes to surgery for our guinea pigs. The main risk is putting them under the anesthesia. So this is something you need to talk to your vet about for percentages wise. Talk to them about how many spays and neuters have they done, how many have had a complication, etc. Things that are going to lessen the chance of something going wrong is one, using a very skilled vet who's knowledgeable. Two, having a super solid recovery plan. So even if your guinea pig gets through the surgery, you need to be there for them 100% during recovery. Up in the I cards, I'll leave you my video for what I personally do for recovery. And the last thing that's going to help your guinea pig get through surgery and recovery is if they're younger and healthier. Sometimes we don't have a choice, but we need to do surgery on a guinea pig who is older, who might be a bit under the weather. But if you're doing this spaying and neutering preemptively with younger, healthier guinea pigs, the chance of them making it through and recovering is much better. So anyway, thanks again guys and we'll see you in the next video. If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!